they're fighting. Oh my gosh, she attacked him. They closed up shop. They're getting out of there. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody else is just watching. Hey lovelies, we are back with another episode. It's the Willow LP and oh my gosh, I am so sorry for the delay of this episode. But let me explain. This is actually the third episode. I did record a second episode last week and my audio was completely messed up in it and it was not salvageable so I had to dump the whole thing and it frustrated me so much that I wanted to take a small break from the series but we are back now and hopefully the audio is just fine this time because I haven't had any more issues since then but yes we are back last time we were with the glass family well today we are going to the Banks family and if you remember, Abby is the best friend. And their description is, at first glance, this family seems to have it all. Rich, old money, and a cute, sweet family. However, looks can be deceiving. Abby is one of the meanest sims at her school, the black sheep of her family. Her brother, however, is as sweet as he can be. Their dad, Archer, looks to have everything together and is the sweetest sim you'll ever meet. Or so the masses think. So this family is gonna be uh, quite fun. So we are here at the house. This is an EA house, but I have I have redone the house. It's very uh, minimalist because this is an extremely, extremely rich family. The bank's last name is very fitting for them. As you can see, they have 900,000 simoleons. It's so much. But this is the house. They're very, quite a snooty family. So there's not one piece of furniture out of place. And here's some of the bedrooms. This is Abby's room. I quite like her room a lot. So I have just updated my game just recently. And I did update my mods, but I've been hearing that the game is so buggy for a lot of people so i'm hoping there won't be any bugs for me but i am very curious as your game buggy everywhere i go everybody's talking about how buggy it all is and i haven't really seen that on my game just a few bugs just like somebody will open their phone and the camera will zoom over to them for some reason which is odd but yeah besides that i haven't really had too many glitches here but let me introduce you to everybody here is archer he is the father of this little tiny family and he is like the sweetest sim. He's the give you the shirt off of his back type sim. He's just as sweet as he can be, which is quite odd considering how rich the family is. I mean, they're the richest family in Willow Creek and people just love Archer. They, they, they love him. They adore him. However, what they do not know is that he's not so sweet. He acts like he's very sweet, but he's not. So he's not so sweet. In fact, he has the aspiration of public enemy. The next thing he wants is to witness the death of a sim. I don't know how we're going to achieve that, but we're gonna have to achieve it. But yeah, he is not that nice. Everybody thinks he is. I mean, look at that face. I mean, look at the face. He he looks as sweet as he can be, but uh, he's not. In fact, he is in the criminal career. He's a level five in it. Want to make a deal in this hood? You got to go through Archer. He worked his way up to running the racket on this turf. From that botanical garden over there all the way down to the new organic grocery store. So yeah, um, this is how they have all their money. He has stolen it essentially he has stolen all the family's money and yet he still has this really nice sweet persona nobody knows what he does for a living besides his kids and it's really quite funny because he's considered the sweetest guy whereas abby here is considered like the black sheep of this family when people look at this family they think abby is the odd one out because she's the only one in the family that is perceived as mean she's really really mean she's a stereotypical 
just kind of rich girl at school who's mean to everybody. And her dad, to everybody else, seems so sweet. And her brother here is playing the chess. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Oh, he's breaking out a little bit. And he's not supposed to have that little goatee. I'm going to have to have him shave. But this is Wesley. And he is actually a nice sim. He's a great sim. He has the outgoing, the unflirty trait. He's very relatable. He's just a really sweet guy and he feels like he does not belong with his family. You know, his dad's a crime lord. His sister's really mean. They are mean to each other all the time. They don't get along. He doesn't really get along with anyone in his family. So he is just wanting to go to college, get out of this family as fast as he can, and just leave. The college is just the easiest way for him to get out of this house. So that's what he wants to do. He is also very goal oriented as well, but he just, he wants out of this family. He wants to leave and pretty much never look back at them. And here is his little room here. Oh, and they have a, a little mouse. They have a mouse. Wait, where is he? Okay, there he is. There's the mouse. He's sleeping in there. Is he hungry? No, no, it says he's content. Okay. But yeah, they have a mouse named Whiskers in there. It's the only pet they're allowed to have because um, they don't want pets in their house. But yeah, that's pretty much the idea of this story for this household. But uh, Archer is going to be very interesting to play because he wants to witness the death of a sim. And I'm not entirely sure how to go about about that without cheating. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below how to lure a sim to the house and um, what method we should use for him to complete this aspiration. I, we could do maybe a cow plant. Maybe we could lock him in a basement or something. I don't know, but we'll see what we want to do with that. But we're going to have to complete that part of his aspiration. But yeah, that's kind of this family. It's a pretty rough family, but looking from the outside in, you would never guess that. So for the Banks family, it is currently almost a 5 p.m. on a Saturday so no school today. Wesley here wants to do his homework five times so we're gonna have him go do his homework. So Abby is a romantic and a hot-headed sim and she has a whim to rile up a sim or to flirt with someone. And speaking of flirting, perfect. This is actually her boyfriend calling her. Hey, Abby, I fancy some sakura tea. Want to get some at the romance festival with me? Okay, that is a perfect. So she has been dating him for not too long. Abby's kind of, Abby doesn't really stay in relationships for very long. She just kind of goes from one relationship to the next. Once she gets tired of them, she just kind of leaves. That's just the type of person that she is. But yes, we're going to go on a date with him, which is perfect because I was planning on having them go on a date soon anyway. Here is a closer up look at Abby here. She's such a pretty son. And her boyfriend is here, but he's not really, he's not really happy right now. I don't know why, but this is him. Oh, oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> Ask your romantic destiny. Okay, so they're going to go to the guru. It's time for prom. You know, Abby's too cool for a prom. We're going to skip it. So they're going to skip prom, and they're just going to be at this romantic fair instead. And she's going to ask what about their romantic destiny with the guru. Your true love is closer than you think think. Hmm, that's interesting. But at the same time, they are resentful about no prom invite. Abby was expecting an invitation to prom from Jonas. Oh no. I kind of don't like that because prom happens like every week and it's way too often. And I kind of don't want all my couples to be getting bad sentiments because they didn't get asked to prom because I don't want to go to prom because prom only lasts like a few minutes. She wants to flirt with him. Drifting love. Caught the love of her life flirting with another. Are they joking around or losing interest? Where did that come from? 
Oh, wait, did he flirt with the guru? Oh, oh, no. Oh, mm -mm, no, Abby's not having that. We're gonna, she, she's gonna, she is going to totally fight him over that. I can't believe he flirted with the guru. She is going to be so angry. They're gonna start fighting. The guru's still in a flirty mood. Oh, my gosh. They went to the guru for love advice, and all she did was flirt with her boyfriend. <gasps> oh, oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Oh my gosh. She's gonna insult him. Because Abby isn't gonna have a guy that that flirts with somebody else right in front of her. Alright, they really don't seem to like each other very much anymore. And now they're fighting. Oh my gosh, she attacked him. They closed up shop. They're getting out of there. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> Everybody else is just watching. Oh my gosh. They now despise each other. Furious. Just the sight of Jonas gets on Abby's nerves these days. Like, how dare Jonas show his face? Oh my god. They're so angry. I don't think their date went very well. <laughs> She is going home. It doesn't help that she's about ready to pass out as well. Wesley is still doing his homework. He works so hard at the body. Oh my gosh, my heart. He wants to leave this house so bad. So he's trying so hard to keep his grades up and do good and just anything he can do to try and get out of this household. Their dad is at work. We're gonna have him joke with his co-workers at work. Abby is in bed sleeping off all of these anger emotions. Oh my gosh, I am not okay. She's having a mood swing. She's riled up. She's furious. Oh my gosh. She is uh, going through it pretty much. It looks like he has a gold urn, 500 simoleons. I guess what he wants to do is he doesn't want to spend his family's money that he knows is all stolen. So he wants to earn his own money. So I think it'd be a good idea to give him a part-time job. He's wanting to earn his own money. He doesn't want to use their money. So the only solution is for him to get another job after school, which is perfect for him because he wants to stay out of this house for as long as possible. So what would fit him? I think we're just going to have him do a fast food employee. I think it makes sense. He, he just wants a job. He just wants to get out. And you know, this way he can eat at work and not have to worry about eating at home. So I think this is perfect for him. So he's going to take this. It'll be from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. right after school. So that's what he's going to do. He is a table cleaner. Everyone has to start somewhere and this won't be so bad. I mean, sure, Wesley will come home smelling like fried something. And his hands will reek of mildewed rags, but at least he'll get to see his friends, sort of, while he's wearing a paper hat. Their dad just got home. Here's his criminal outfit. Oh, and he is about ready to pass out. Wesley was just around his sister, and now he's just instantly angry. He is so upset. He doesn't like being around her. He's just, he gets just infuriated every time he gets around a family member. But it's also three in the morning, so we're gonna send him to bed. She is just about to lose it. She is enraged. Oh my gosh. Abby, I don't believe, has ever been cheated on before. She doesn't even know what to do with herself. She is so angry. Yep, that'll show him, Abby. Kicking down your own garbage can. That will... <laughs> That will totally show Jonas that, that you're angry. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's all dirty out here. So they are a very rich family with 900,000 simoleons. However, they do not have a maid or a butler or anybody. They don't allow anybody in the house. Archer does not allow anybody in the house for obvious reasons. I mean, he's got bags of money everywhere. He's got stuff over here in the corner that he uses for his job. So he can't really have anybody coming to the house and like rummaging around. So they do have to clean their own home. So Wesley is the first sim up and oh my god, that mustache. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. 
shave, shave. I might need to turn off some of the hair growth. I feel like the hair grows a little too fast in this game. I love the mechanic. I just wish it was a little bit slower. That is better. And we're gonna give him some facial cleanser because he's breaking out a little bit. And you know what? He's gotta get out of this house. He just cannot stand being around his family any, any longer. So he came down here to a tea shop, a tea and sugar shop. And we're gonna have him order some food. It's not really healthy to be eating these sweets so early in the morning but it's the only place open that's close by so you know this is just what he's doing he's just happy to not be in the house and to get away i mean if he could move out of that house right now he probably would this is such a cute little cafe this is what it looks like upstairs how cute is this oh my gosh just adorable i would actually just love to go to a place like this in real life just sit down with some coffee and a little cake oh so nice my gosh the sim he's so cute oh my gosh much better without all the facial hair he had before for. So it is new skill day and Wesley really does like to improve himself a lot. I mean he's trying to get all of his skills up pretty much as fast as he can. So we're gonna send him to the library. I feel like he would spend his skill day at the library. I can't imagine his sister or his dad cares that much you know about skill day. They're, it's just not really a thing that they are into. But this is the library. It looks so nice. There's even a little play center over here. Oh my gosh. They got a little playground back here. Wesley is going upstairs. He's going to play on the chess table. He just wants to stay out of the house as long as he can today. He just doesn't want to be there. So I brought up the bank's calendar and oh my gosh, is it getting full? But I completely forgot. This is going to be their last week at school. After that, it's going to be summer vacation. So all the teens will be off for all of summer. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. That's probably when a lot of drama is going to start going off. Abby and her dad are extremely close. Abby is essentially daddy's little girl type thing. She wants to grow up and she wants to be just like him. She wants to inherit his business even. She wants to become a part of the criminal career just like her dad. She adores her dad. She looks up to him and he does try to give her everything that she wants, which is why she is a mean sim. She has never wanted for anything in her life, anything she even looked at that she kind of wanted, he would buy for her. But they are very close. They have a really good relationship, whereas neither one of them really have a good relationship at all with Wesley. What people think about you matters, and I heard that someone absolutely despises you now. It's making me question my own opinion of you. Hmm... So Raven isn't too sure of her friendship with Abby. You know, she never really has been. They've always been really mean to each other. Abby has actually always been mean to her. Abby has always just been a horrible person to Abby. Raven. But yeah, so now she's getting these texts about that. And you know what? She's a mean girl. So she's going to tag Raven in a post and she's going to be mean because that's what she does. She's a mean girl. She is going to post some stuff about her on social media. And I have no idea what she just said, but it was bad. <laughs> well, that is the end of the day for the Banks family. So we are going to call that a wrap for this episode. On the next episode, they'll all be going to school. So that should be interesting to see how they all interact at school. But yeah, this was the Banks family. Let me know what you think of them down below. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye guys.